Latuya Bay, located in the southeastern part of Alaska, may appear to be a quiet, peaceful fjord, but it has a history of terrifying and destructive power that most people don't even know about. On July 9th, 1958, Latuya Bay became the site of one of the most shocking natural events ever recorded, a mega tsunami that reached a mind-blowing height of 1,720 feet. To put that into perspective, that's taller than the Empire State Building and no tsunami before or since has ever come close to matching that record. The event began with a massive landslide when an enormous chunk of rock, estimated to be around 30 million cubic yards in size, suddenly plunged into the bay. This was no ordinary landslide. The force of the rocks crashing into the water sent a powerful wave surging up and over the surrounding cliffs, creating a tsunami of catastrophic proportions. The wave tore through the narrow bay at an incredible speed, wiping out everything in its path. It was so powerful that it even stripped trees from the mountain sides, leaving behind a barren landscape where the lush forest had once stood. Not Despite how incredible and destructive the mega tsunami was, there were only a few eyewitnesses. The most well-known of these witnesses were the people aboard the fishing boat, the Lynn, a vessel that was near the bay when the event occurred. The crew of the Lynn had a front row seat to the incredible wave as it hurtled toward the shore. They managed to survive, but the impact of the mega tsunami left them in awe of nature's raw power. What happened at Latuya Bay in 1958 raises a lot of questions, some of which still don't have clear answers. How exactly did the landslide happen? Was it purely a natural event, or did human activity, such as logging or other environmental factors, contribute to the disaster? And could something like this happen again? The sheer magnitude of the mega tsunami's height and its unexpected nature have led to many speculations and studies over the years, but there's still no concrete understanding of all the factors involved. As scientists continue to study Latuya Bay and its unusual geography, the mystery deepens. The bay is surrounded by steep cliffs that create a narrow, confined space. This trapped environment amplifies the force of natural events, making Latuya Bay a particularly dangerous and unstable place. The landscape, combined with the ongoing tectonic activity in the region, sets the stage for even more potential disasters in the future. Scientists have learned that the same geological forces that caused the mega tsunami of 1958 are still at play today, meaning that Latuya Bay's danger has never fully passed. As we move forward, we'll dive deeper into the science behind what happened in 1958 and explore the on ongoing risks that this place faces. Stay tuned as we continue this journey through one of the most fascinating and dangerous natural events in history. In order to understand the full scale of the 1958 mega tsunami in Latuya Bay, we need to explore the geological forces that made it possible. The event didn't happen randomly. The bay is situated in a region with a unique and volatile combination of factors that make it prone to natural disasters, especially ones as destructive as a mega tsunami. Latuya Bay is a narrow fjord, which means it's a body of water surrounded by steep towering cliffs. The geography here is a major part of what turned a landslide into a record-breaking tsunami. When the rock slide occurred on that fateful day in July, the steep cliffs funneled the massive amount of energy from the falling debris into a concentrated area. This caused the water to rise with such force that the wave reached an unimaginable height. With nowhere for the energy to escape, the force of the water surged upward rather than spreading out over a larger area. It created a tsunami that was much more powerful than what you typically see in the open ocean, but what made this particular landslide so massive. For starters, the region around Latuya Bay is incredibly seismically active. The Pacific and North American tectonic plates are constantly shifting and the pressure between them builds up over time. This ongoing movement of the Earth's crust can trigger massive earthquakes, which in turn can cause landslides. In fact, it's believed that the landslide that triggered the mega tsunami was caused by a relatively small earthquake, measuring about 7.8 on the Richter scale. While not a huge earthquake by some standards, it was enough to send tons of rock crashing into the bay. The landslide itself wasn't just a random event, it was part of the complex natural forces that had been at play in the region for thousands of years. The bay's geological history is filled with tectonic activity and its physical structure makes it prone to events like this. With steep cliffs and a narrow channel, the water in Latuya Bay is essentially trapped in a confined space. When something like a landslide occurs, the water doesn't have much room to spread out and it ends up pushing straight up and over the cliffs, creating a catastrophic wave. 
adding to the danger of the bay is the region's high level of seismic activity. Earthquakes are a regular occurrence, and while most are small, larger ones can trigger events like the landslide that led to the mega tsunami. The energy released from these earthquakes can shake loose unstable rock formations, triggering massive rock slides into the bay. This, combined with the topography of the bay itself, creates a perfect storm for disaster. Understanding the geological makeup of Latuya Bay helps explain why this mega tsunami was so devastating, but it also raises important questions about future events. The forces at work here haven't gone away. In fact, they're still very much present. The same tectonic activity that triggered the 1958 disaster could cause similar events to occur again. With ongoing seismic activity in the region, Latuya Bay remains a place of concern for scientists studying the area. As we move on, we'll look at the aftermath of the mega tsunami and how scientists have studied its effects. Despite its terrifying nature, this event has provided valuable insights into the power of natural disasters and the ways we can better understand and prepare for them in the future. The aftermath of the 1958 Latuya Bay mega tsunami was both stunning and sobering. The destructive wave, which reached an unimaginable height of 1,720 feet, left an indelible mark on the landscape and offered valuable insights into the forces that shape our planet. In the hours and days following the disaster, scientists and survivors began to grasp the full scope of the devastation. The most immediate and visible effect of the mega tsunami was the widespread destruction of the surrounding forest. As the wave surged up the cliffs and crashed into the mountains, it stripped trees from the slopes, leaving behind a barren and eerie landscape. The water's sheer force was so great that it uprooted massive trees and left them scattered across the bay, some of them still floating in the water long after the event. The power of the wave was undeniable and its impact on the environment was clear. Not only were trees destroyed, but the wave also caused significant erosion along the cliffs, leaving scars on the land that are still visible today. Remarkably, the mega tsunami's effects were not limited to just the surrounding environment. The local population who lived in small villages near the bay were lucky to escape the full force of the disaster. While there were no fatalities directly linked to the mega tsunami itself, the event did cause major disruptions to local communities. The destruction of land and wildlife affected the livelihoods of those who depended on the region's natural resources for survival. Despite the isolated nature of the bay, the force of the event was felt across the surrounding area, and the cleanup and recovery process was long and difficult. One of the most fascinating aspects of the 1958 mega tsunami is the fact that only a few people witnessed the event firsthand. A small number of boats were in the bay at the time, and while most were able to escape the brunt of the wave, one fisherman and his family were in a boat near the shoreline when the wave struck. Their accounts provide an eerie glimpse into the terrifying power of the disaster. As the wave hit, the water in the bay suddenly surged and they reported seeing the mountain cliffs on either side of them disappear into a wall of water. The fisherman and his family were lucky to survive, but their experience is a vivid reminder of the destructive potential of such an event. The scientific community was quick to respond to the mega tsunami, conducting studies to understand its full scope and the forces that made it possible. Researchers used a combination of eyewitness accounts, geological surveys, and data from nearby seismic stations to piece together the puzzle of what had happened. What they discovered was a rare and unusual event that while not common, could potentially happen again. The mega tsunami in Latuya Bay was not just a freak accident, but rather a reminder of the raw power that exists in Earth's geological processes. As researchers began to analyze the event, they realized that the Latuya Bay mega tsunami was unique, not only because of its extreme height, but also because of the specific conditions that made it possible. It was the perfect storm of seismic activity, topography and geology that resulted in the massive wave. In a way, the disaster offered a rare opportunity for scientists to study how large-scale landslides and earthquakes can create such intense tsunamis, something they may not have been able to study under normal circumstances. Looking forward, scientists began to consider what the future might hold for Latuya Bay. While the region's seismic activity had been relatively stable in the years since the 1958 mega tsunami, the underlying geological factors that caused the disaster are still very much in play. The Pacific and North American tectonic plates continue to shift, and the possibility of another landslide or earthquake remains a real threat. But what makes Latuya Bay particularly dangerous is its location and its ability to amplify the effects of such events. 
the bay's narrow and closed shape funnels the energy of any seismic or landslide event directly into the water, making it a potential breeding ground for another mega tsunami. As we move forward in this story, it's important to consider how the Latuya Bay mega tsunami has shaped our understanding of natural disasters and the science behind them. The lessons learned from this event continue to inform the ways we study and prepare for similar events in the future, highlighting the need for more research into the dynamics of earthquakes, landslides, and tsunamis. The events of July 9th, 1958 may be long behind us, but the lessons they left us with are still very much relevant today. As we reach the conclusion of the Latuya Bay mega tsunami story, it's important to reflect on the lasting impact the event has had on both scientific research in the local area. The 1958 mega tsunami was a game changer for the way we understand the power of nature and the destructive potential of tsunamis. Despite the rare and isolated circumstances of this event, it has sparked ongoing investigations into similar areas around the world, all of which have the potential to experience a similar catastrophe. One of the most significant consequences of the mega tsunami was the heightened awareness it brought to the vulnerability of coastal areas that are situated near active geological zones. As a result, scientists began to study how earthquakes and landslides could trigger tsunamis in other regions with similar topographical and seismic conditions. While Latuya Bay is an extreme case, the principles of how it all unfolded have been applied to better understand tsunamis in general, especially those that might occur along the Pacific Ring of Fire, where tectonic activity is high. Although there were no fatalities directly linked to the mega tsunami, the disaster highlighted the importance of early warning systems and preparedness in regions at risk for tsunamis. The speed at which the waves surged through Latuya Bay left little time for people to respond, making it clear that places with a history of seismic activity need to be on high alert. In the years following the event, efforts to improve tsunami warning systems became a priority for many coastal regions around the world. Scientists also started to look more closely at the effects of large landslides and how they could trigger waves, a crucial element in preventing or mitigating future disasters. The unique and isolated geography of Latuya Bay has also made it a focal point for geological studies. Researchers continue to study the bay and its surroundings to this day, gathering data on its ongoing seismic activity and the state of its landscape. The potential for another major landslide or earthquake is still very much a possibility, and while it may be impossible to predict, exactly when or where the next catastrophic event will strike, the lessons learned from the 1958 mega tsunami have paved the way for better preparedness and understanding of similar events elsewhere. What is perhaps most striking about the Latuya Bay mega tsunami is the sheer power of nature. It serves as a reminder that even in the most peaceful and remote locations, the Earth's forces are always at work, shaping and reshaping the landscape in ways we can't always predict. This disaster may have been an extreme and rare event, but it's one that serves as a warning that nothing on Earth is immune from the power of natural forces. In the years since the disaster, the memory of the mega tsunami has lingered, both in the scientific community and in the local memory. It stands as a testament to nature's ability to surprise us and remind us of how little control we truly have over the forces that shape our world. Latuya Bay may seem quiet and peaceful today, but it still holds the potential for the kind of sudden devastating event that forever alters the landscape. As we finish reflecting on the events of July 9th, 1958, it's clear that Latuya Bay continues to be a unique geological and environmental location that holds important lessons for all of us. It's a reminder that while we may not be able to control or fully predict these catastrophic events, understanding and respecting the natural world around us is essential for surviving and navigating the unpredictability of life on Earth. And who knows, perhaps one day scientists will uncover even more secrets hidden in the depths of Latuya Bay. Until then, we continue to study, learn, and prepare, taking the lessons of the past to better understand the future.